Hi Libra! Well, welcome back to another monthly tarot reading with me. I'm Ashley Rose and this is your monthly tarot reading for April 2022. Um, this reading is for all Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So anytime throughout this month, throughout this year, if you feel drawn, called, or pulled to this reading, there is a message in it for you. So we're going to start off by pulling seven cards for the overview of our month an oracle card, three cards for our love life, three to clarify, and then like always, we will end it with an affirmation. Um, this month starts off with a new moon in Aries, and it's really actually exciting because I feel like the last two weeks, or I should say two weeks, but like week and a half of March felt really funky, and I felt like really pushed us down, like to <laughs> down to like dig deep and really find what our fears are to really ignite them so that when this new moon comes or this new moon in Aries comes, came, happened, April 1st, that we could really recharge ourselves, reconnect and release the things that, you know, are holding us back from really accessing our potential and really being motivated to move forward and just embark on these things that we want to be doing, right? These goals, our hopes, our dreams, all this, all this stuff that we've been like taking in and really holding on to. Now we're finally in a space, especially after this new moon, where we can kind of ignite that and go after it, which is really exciting. It's really showing us like where and what we're focusing on and how we can like intentionally fine tune our focus to put ourselves in the next direction or put ourselves in the right direction, right? And then we have a Libra full moon happening um, April 16th. And I love that, especially for you guys. So you're going to definitely be feeling it a little heavy this month or not heavy, but intensely around that time but I really feel like it comes as a beautiful moment to ground ourselves and find balance again and make balance a priority I've talked about it a lot in my daily tarot readings in my monthlies in my, my my video for what's to come in 2022 a big theme this year is balance and it's so important for us because we have all of these things you know unfolding and putting being placed in our path that we learn how to cultivate a stable place of balance or how to make sure that balance is a priority in what we're doing. So if there's any places where we may feel unbalanced, this full moon, sorry, this full moon is definitely going to highlight and intensify those areas. But it's also coming to highlight and intensify the beauty of what's going on around us because we're finally with this, you know, shift into airy season and I even feel like shift into April and as we move into spring, it really is like we've created this space for ourselves, this new space and we're having fun and we're learning and we're making mistakes and we're growing because we're finally standing in ourselves in a stronger, more authentic way that it comes to help like ground us down and get bring us back to center and again, focus in on what is really important and how we wanna move forward. Cause then at the end of this month, we have Taurus season, and it really is this time to kind of get comfortable and start looking around at your life and like, what do we love? What do we don't like? Um, very similar as like Libras are about like beauty. So are Taurus, they're about, I feel like similar in these ways where it's like about the finer things in life, right? Materials. Um, and, but with Taurus, it's more about being comfortable in their environment and comfortable in the work that they're doing. So it's kind of like, it's coming to help us find again that grounded energy so that we can really articulate what we're doing and really allow you know these things that we're working on to just unfold naturally um what else did i want to say about taurus season um no that's it i mean i like to think about it as like you know, you get a new desk at work or you start a new job and maybe it's just a cubicle and it doesn't have anything, but it's like during, like, when I think about tour season, it's always like a good time to kind of like make whatever space you're in, work environment, relationships, like home, you think about it as like a nest that feels comfortable, right? And cause they like tourists are about like 
animals, right? And so like, I think we think like nesting. And so back to the cubicle, you're gonna slowly start filling your space with things that feel like you, right? Inspirational quotes, maybe a picture, maybe an award, maybe your degree, you know, things that when you come into your office every day and you sit down, makes you feel happy or makes you feel comfortable and content, right? So we can start, we can think about how we can bring that over into, ooh, you know, again, our work life, our ro our relationships, our home, how can we really start making these places and these spaces that we've created for ourselves more comfortable so that we can feel even more freedom to express and share and be creative and allow our ideas to unfold naturally. Because there's going to be, not a lot, I shouldn't say there's going to be a lot, but there's this big picture that we kind of have to zoom out of this month and really like get away from the tiny details and recenter and refocus right back into the big picture of what we really want and what we're really working for. Because, you know, Pisces season, Aquarius season had us really in our feels, really, again, dug deep down to what we really wanted. And it was like this fog we were in, right? And now I feel like stepping into April, that fog's like lifted and we can finally see things. And I feel like in conversations I've been having with people, it's been very common that it's like come up and been like, I don't know what I was doing, but today I woke up and I'm just like, wow, why haven't I done A, B, and C things? Or I have the energy or the motivation now to do A, B, and C things. Granted, there was a lot of placements in Pisces and it was really causing us to be like introspective and to get you know, more connected with ourselves on a spiritual level. But now that we've started the Zodiac year again, we can start thinking about things more physically. And, but what that time caused us to do was kind of like really think about the little details of how we wanted things to happen. I mean, especially during Pisces season, we had, you know, Pisces new moon and the Virgo full moon. And that Virgo full moon really had us critique all the little things. and really plan out what is going to be like our best plan for or like intentionally plan out what's going to be the best way to go forward, right? But now with this Aries energy at the start of the month, it's time to kind of pull back and think about everything as a whole and what you can kind of go after now instead of right, like instead of like breaking it down. Um, I hope that's translating right. Uh, because at the beginning of your month, we have the devil and that's just relax breathe seems scary I know but it is a lot more about our subconscious and again being really critical about the little tiny picture or about the little tiny details instead of the big picture and that's something that we're probably working or not something that we're probably but that's something that we're going to be working on and working through during the beginning of the month it is you know training yourself not to pick apart every little thing that you're doing and giving yourself the permission to move forward towards these opportunities that are coming in regardless like i wish the fool you don't have the fool in your reading but i wish the fool was here just to give you the ex just to show you but in the card he just has you know a wand with a bag on it and, and that's symbolizing just like a little pouch and that's symbolizing that you don't you have everything that you already need you don't need anything more and that's what i feel like the devil is coming to give you this lesson and to really help you break through maybe where in your brain because it were in your brain in your mind where we could be holding ourselves back or our ego is trying to again trick us into survival if we're feeling scared if we're feeling unsure about where we're going this month it really is going to be an indication that you're going in the right direction because when we start moving away from these intrusive thoughts and start aligning ourselves with the things that we want to do and start going towards our desires and just you know not wasting our time doing things that aren't us or that we don't you know enjoy or find some type of connection to, um, it can really trigger our ego and it could really start, you know, pop again, making these thoughts pop up that try to negate and deter you from doing the things that you actually want to do because now we're in an unpredictable future that the ego can't predict, right? Because if we look at this card, it's two people standing here and they have chains around their necks, yes, but there's not a lock and the devil's not like holding on to their chains. He's just kind of like sitting there like, hey, 
I'm here if you want to be here kind of deal. And it's like the same thing with the thoughts that are going on in your mind. Like they're there if you want to pay attention to them and you want to pick yourself apart and you want to go down that road. But nobody else is holding you to those standards. Nobody else is holding you to those expectations. Nobody else is holding you to these things that are just maybe even unattainable I feel like to some of us like we have these big goals and they're maybe not even be realistic and it's like this continuous cycle of you know not good enough not feeling like we have enough strength or not feeling like we have the talents or the skills to do it but you're experienced here and even with dealing with these thoughts that we're going through you have the experience to to move out of this and take these chains off our necks and walk away because again he's not holding them there they're there by themselves oh like by their own free will I actually and so it's time to take these chains off and walk away and let these fears and these worries and this survival mindset to go because we don't need that anymore we're operating out of our joy out of our happiness out of our true authenticity uh what is this 16 yes um reduces to seven and seven is the mind and creativity so we are you know soothing our mind and again allowing our creativity to flow especially during airy season because it's about energy it's about creativity it's about accessing your your life's purpose and what drives you and getting in touch with you know that interest that motivates you to get up in the morning right because after we can move through this, we can soothe our minds and allow our creativity to kind of come to the forefront, we have opportunities coming in. And we're gonna miss these opportunities if we're too focused on all these things that don't matter. If we're too busy looking at ourselves in the mirror and picking ourselves apart because that's not gonna help us get anywhere. What's gonna help us move somewhere, which is this eight of wands is helping us, is the strength and the confidence that we have in our talents and our ability. The confidence that we have in our creativity. The confidence that we have to make the right decision to move forward towards what we're really working on. And again, move away from the things that are just distracting us because that's what's going on here. The, the, like, the devil is just over here distracting people. And he's like, I can distract you if you want to, but I mean, that's your choice, right? And he lets you go when you're when you're done, right? <laughs> like he's not again, he's not trying to be this like guard and keep you here. He really, he really isn't. The choice is yours. And again, we have the choice within that to see the opportunities that are coming in, and they're coming in quick. They're and they're ones that are aligned with us and that are really gonna push us to be brave and be courageous to go after these things. And so what's gonna be really important during this time is to again connect to our intuition bring that balance in because at the beginning of the month, we're going to be feeling a little imbalanced, especially with this, you know, devil being here, but we're going to listen to our intuition and our internal guidance system to help bring us forward. Um, and I want, I keep pointing out, I point out my shirt in every video because I put this unintentionally, but it is don't waste time not being you. And I feel like that applies right now in this reading because it's like, don't waste time not being you. Don't waste time being distracted. Don't waste time picking yourself apart, picking apart your project, picking apart your work, just keep moving, like just keep swimming like Dory, you know, but keep moving forward and allow yourself to learn from your mistakes without judgment, without shame, without guilt, to give yourself the permission to keep working for, to keep working and moving forward because we are determined and we're disciplined right now. And we have the experience and we know that we do. When we see these opportunities and we rise to this occasion, we again are like recentered in our focus and we're like, okay, yeah, that's what I was doing. When we come out of this, it's like, shake it like shake a little bit like oh, where was that okay now i'm back now i'm doing my job now i'm working towards what i really want to do because when we see this guy in the background that's your that's the kingdom back there that's your hopes and your dreams and your desires and they're so much closer than you think they are especially at the beginning of the month we're feeling like i don't know lost in the sauce or something but with this eight of pentacles, again, we're talking about strength. We're talking about courage. We're talking about our desires and having confidence in what we're doing and the work that we're building and the work that we're putting in towards what we really want to do. And when we allow, again, our intuition to come in and kind of lead and we allow our desires to show us where we want to go, we use those things together. We can build something, oh, so strong and long lasting in our life. It's like that is that is what we've been waiting for. Because look at him. He's only got two more pentacles pentacles to put up it's not like you know we're st we just started the race in some aspects we did 
and we're starting to move, you know, start other things. But in the grand scheme of things, the big picture, you're again, way closer than you really think you are. And that's because in the middle of our reading, we have the star. Oh my gosh, I love this card. The star is the star is the star. You are the star in your life. And because you have stepped into this power, and again, you're not allowing those distractions to bother you. It's like they come pop up. But again, you have the experience You've been here before where you're not going to allow those things to distract you. You're not going to allow this devil to take you back down that dark road because even here in all that black behind him, black is the color for protection. So you're protected while you're going through here. You're protected while you're learning this lesson. And I feel like it's one that really closes out a cycle and an acknowledgement that we're not going to go back there um, because, you know, we have the star and that is stepping into your authenticity, trusting yourself, being naked and confident. I always like to say naked and afraid because that's what this reminds me of, but this reminds me of just like <laughs> that TV show, you know, they're like out in the woods and they're naked and here's the star. But, you know, but not afraid, but like confident and not necessarily naked, but authentic, right? We've dropped our masks. We've dropped our expectations. We've dropped these, you know, behaviors and patterns and ways of thinking that we thought we needed to have because maybe other people around us did or our upbringing or whatever it, whatever it is. And we're learning that we, us, you on the inside is what's going to move this forward. And by nourishing our body and by nourishing our spirit and really allowing, again, our intuition to come in and kind of clear everything out and bring us the clarity that we've been seeing in the middle of the month. I feel like this comes around the full moon for you. We're, yes, because this would make sense, that like you are illuminated on the inside and you're like, ah, oh, okay, fresh of breath air or <laughs> breath of fresh air, sorry. And you can finally start, you know, making that traction again and moving towards what you really want to do. Um, after that, we have the world. And I love that because it's like you seeing, again, it's like a cycle closing. It's like you seeing yourself for who you are truly, authentically, having faith in that, trusting that, surrendering to whatever else is going on around you and allowing that stuff to fall and fade away closes out a cycle. And it really was, I feel like this could be the judgment card here. And I feel like it would, the, the, the message would be the same as it was like a kind of like a final test of like, are you finally going to acknowledge what's standing in your way? And is are you ready to accept that some of those things had to do with how you saw yourself and how you, maybe the belief that you had or the worth that you had in yourself? And now that we're activating, you know, our creativity from a balanced place, we can be here healed. And again, you see these two cards, they're both naked, they're both vulnerable, right? You're allowing yourself to be open. You're allowing yourself to be vulnerable. You're allowing your true, again, authenticity to come out. And I want to talk about a favorite affirmation. It's I believe in authenticity. So I'm willing to deal with the repercussions of being myself. And it's not like necessarily repercussions, I feel like this month, but it's just being yourself and allowing yourself to be that. And whatever happens along the way, so be it. Because I am me and there's nothing now that I am rethinking, doubting, have worry about when I can stand in myself, right? Because this is... Um, 17, eight, again, oh, pay attention to eight. 888 eight, eight is going to be, again, an indication to stand in your strength this month because you have three right in a row. And I really feel like, you know, it's coming to remind you that you have the strength within you because you wouldn't have been able to get to this place. You wouldn't have been able to complete this cycle and have so much achievement and victory behind it without you having the strength to get here, without you pushing yourself, getting out of your comfort zone and giving yourself the permission to be you and share and express your talents authentically, you wouldn't be here. And we have this like white ribbon that's wrapped around her, just kind of talking, not kind of, but just talking about this natural flow of energy that's all around you as you are in alignment with what you're doing. And it really is like a go with the flow and that's where we're gonna find the best. It's gonna be really important for you. I mean, as a Libra to, again, you're the scales, you are justice and balance to be the balance and not and stop seeking the balance, right? It's transferring this internal thought externally and being what you need. Um, because then we have this knight of sword, this knight of wands, and I love that because it's like everything comes to a culmination point, and you're like, yes, I got it, let's go for it. But I do want to warn you because at the end we have the knight of swords or the three of swords. And so there's going to be some fast movement happening and you're excited, but I want you to watch again from this feeling unbalanced. It feels a little bit like we get a little too big for our britches. 
and we could, you know, lead ourselves down a road where we maybe hurt ourselves in the end because we we're getting a little too ahead of ourselves. We're like, yeah, I got it and share it. Or, you know, we are moving away from some heartbreak and we are allowing ourselves to be, you know, restored because we're finally moving towards what motivates us. And we're finally, you know, using this motivation to create something in our life that is really abundant. I mean, we're talking about nights here. So I always like to talk about the extremes. Um, Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands, they're no firm not really thinking before they act and just going after it, ready to fight for their kingdom because they're not exactly the king and the queen yet. They, they don't totally have all the experience, all the knowledge. They're still young on their journey, um, but they're willing to fight for it. They're willing to go out there and push the boundaries and get out of their comfort zone. So I feel like that's really going to benefit you this month. But what this three of swords could be talking about is like we're going out there we're not really thinking about it and we might get a little bit again ahead of ourselves because the knight of wands is the fastest out of the uh, out of the knights um the knight of pentacles the knight of cups they're not really moving at all um and the knight of swords fire is faster um so just pay attention because yes there may be things in or even you know stuff that pops up but it's all here to kind of like bring a new beginning. So don't get too down on yourself towards the end of the month as, um, you know, something may occur or some type of heartbreak, some type of grief. I want not, not, not loss and like a, a loss for a person, but like some type of, some type of thing, hobby, idea you maybe are losing. And maybe that's just like, we're getting away again from the expectations and the ideas that we had about our life and what it needed to be. And now we're allowing it to be built authentically and however, however it is and however, however it, it, it unfolds. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, Heidi would like to say hi. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the two of cups, the five of cups in reverse. Ooh, a lot of cups, a lot of emotions and feelings underneath here. Um, we really are releasing these things and allowing ourselves to be happy. And so don't get too carried away in some of your thoughts and some of your actions and forget what you really stand for. I feel like that's where we maybe get ourselves in a sticky situation where maybe, you know, we hurt our own hearts. Um, but again, I don't want to make that one too drear, too, um, too much of a downer at the end. It really does. I feel like it's coming to give you the opportunity to start again. And maybe even, you know, a situation arises that where you've again, been here before and you have the opportunity to kind of make a different decision, a new decision. So our Oracle card is sisterhood of the rose, beauty and devotion, priestess, mystic teacher. Ooh. I love that. And I feel like really this reminds me of the star here, this acknowledgement of her power, herself, and having this, this sisterhood and this support around you. So I'm going to read what it says. We have the sisterhood of the rose is a lineage of priestesses and mystics who devoted their life to serving humanity and seeding light consciousness all over the earth, a cross section of ancient lineages it is the path of devotion and beauty. Walking this path means being devoted to seeing and creating beauty wherever you go. The rose symbolizes the heart and the sacred geometry of life. You are being called to notice the beauty around you, particularly in nature, and hear the whispers of Mother Earth. You are being called to spend more time in nature, as in the ancient secrets live there. Mother Earth is constantly whispering, spend time admiring her creations and you'll be rewarded with insight and grace. You are being called to take a little more time to notice the beauty that exists all around you and contribute to the beauty of the world in your own way too. This could be your own, this could be through your own creations or the little things like how you dress to picking flowers for your home. Every time you devote your time to creating beauty, you harmonize the planet a little more and shift the vibration or, and the shift in vibration can be felt. So yes, Definitely get out there. I even feel like this is like speaking about that. Get out there into nature and earth and ground yourself. And even back to what I was talking about in the beginning with Taurus season, it's to be super important to, you know, find the beauty in your space and create that beauty in your space. I mean, you're a Libra. So take that and have fun with it this month. Um, for your love reading, we have this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek, Ace of Wands. Oh, we love that engagement your love life is sending to a higher level of commitment the queen of wands and then we have trust 
The situation is calling for you to have faith, the page of wands. Like, look at all this fire, facts, action, movement. Somebody is coming in. So don't get caught up in these old thoughts, these old beliefs, and these old heartbreaks. That's what I feel like this is coming from, where you hurt yourself and you, you know, you act too fast and you ruin it, right? Or like this could be the one in trust, like trust what's going on and allow these knives to come out of your heart so that you can really enjoy this and be a part of this. I mean, like look at this two of cups here at the bottom. It's talking about a relationship that's coming in and this is coming because you have the strength to see yourself. You have the confidence to step out and be yourself and you see the beauty of everything that's around you. And when this person comes in, you can see the beauty in them too. Um, I wanna say that they're probably a fire sign because we have the queen of wands here. And breaking this down individually, we have this could be the one with the Ace of Wands. This is a new energy, new motivation, something that really sparks your interest and gets you excited. And I love that. And it's just like, da 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 da, the universe is like, this could be the one. Here she is. It's a part of your life purpose. This is destiny that you guys are reading. There's engagement with the Queen of Wands. It's like really coming because you got yourself focused on what you really want to do and where you see yourself and where you're going because we're not focused on these little tiny details that don't matter. We're seeing the big picture and we're trusting that we're a part of it and we're allowing ourselves to be this page who's willing to learn, willing to grow, and willing to allow this new love to come in and really fill it up and fire you in like a passionate way. So I'm really excited about that, Aries. It's exciting. So don't get too in your head, okay? To where you start getting nervous. Um, did I say Aries? It's exciting, Libra. Um, don't get too in your head and, you know, say something or do something because you're feeling a little vulnerable or a little um, exposed. I feel like that may be where some of this is coming from. But let's get into your affirmation. If you would like to get to know more about me, what I have going on, or you would like a book of tarot reading, you can go to ashleyrose.com. You can follow me as well on Ashley Rose Tarot on Instagram. Like, share, comment, subscribe to this video or, or my this video this channel because I love having you guys here um, and let me know what other things you'd like me to create or videos you'd like me to do. Um, we have for our affirmation, when I'm connected to spirit, I feel a sense of certainty, magnitude, and ease that I've never known before. Yes. And so stay connected. Don't allow yourself to be derailed because you get too excited or you get too in your head or you something happens that allows you to become un unbalanced. We're pushing ourselves to find our strength and to connect back with our spirit. And that's really, you're really gonna see that unfold for you this month. So I'm so excited to see how April unfolds for you. Um, and I love you guys. And I will catch you later in the daily tarot readings.